yeah so yeah so here's my 04 uh f-250 with a 24 valve cummins and with a p-pump compound turbos i'm still working on it like i said it's work in progress i did a little powder coating built some pipes i'm still working on a, a good filter setup because i'm in order to do it i'm gonna have to adjust some of my pipe in probably and i want to move the vacuum tank adjust maybe put a smaller one i don't know yet i've just been slowly up uh upgrading and adjusting things as i go as i see fit but man this thing right here pulls like a freaking i don't know it pulls like a freight train with this compound setup on it i mean i changed the both tur I, I, the original turbo how was one of those aggressor 62s from power driven diesel so it had a 65 exhaust with a 62 uh cast wheel this i got this turbo from this this is a modified he 351 with a 67 exhaust so it has a nine millimeter center, nine centimeter housing on the exhaust with a 67 wheel and a 62 on the compressor side. The, the aggressor turbo that I had was a, I believe it was a 65 wheel in like a 12 centimeter housing. So this has a lot tighter housing. So this, it, it, this one spools, this spools a lot quicker than the other turbo. I couldn't in uh then that other 62 i just stuck i just whatever I, I got this one from the turbo lab uh one of those you can put it together yourself whatever I, I i just got the kit where i could put it together myself and i bought you know i bought one of the uh turbo smart deals for it i'm probably gonna adjust the springing on it because right now it's a little tight so my my big turbo ain't really it's helping a little bit but not as much as i think it should be uh but yeah we'll, we'll it's dirty like i said i drive this thing every day and oh yeah there's the original swap helper um or tack helper but yeah here's the interior i'm still working on a little bit i got one wire i need to fix down here and that's just for my flashers i know it's there but it's just for my flashers i was working on it because in this truck i'm running the 2016 column 2016 dash 2016 um cluster inside here i've got an 08 to 10 multi-function switch um and um yeah and everything all this stuff works you know the headlight the the headlight helper makes it where this works and then this stuff just works i get more function out of it i got all this stuff working the cluster can i can control it from the steering wheel all that my radio it can control from the steering wheel and since my truck had manual ac gauge i just put them right here uh and got the ipad kit for the 2016 trucks and just put a mini here right here and then obviously i got one of those alpine x30 oh no it's a u308x is i believe that or no what whatever it is it's one of the alpines I don't even know if they, I'm not sure if they're making them anymore or not, but I know they used to have a 208 and then this is the 308. I believe it's a U308X is what I think. I think it says it on, yeah, it says X, X308. I don't know if you can see it, if it'll focus on it, but it's X308U. That's the unit I'm running in here. But yeah, you can see, and oh, and I went, these, uh, these are actually painted the same, the, the trim in here i actually painted the same color as the outside of the truck that's what i do for living is paint so i had painted these the out same color as the outside of the truck and uh for a little bit of custom stuff but yeah i don't know I just figured i would do a quick thing got the door panels in there that was the first thing i did those are these have probably been in here five six seven years now the door panels dash is probably is dash this is uh the dash three or f no, four or five years now oh no when i put the when i put the transmission in no, no no when i put the cummins in it is when i did the dash yeah i did all of it while the truck was down um the next thing 
on this oh yeah we'll just keep walking around i got a few other things that i want to do i put the you know i put the newer tailgate on it just so happened it is the one with the step um painted it same color i got to do that emblem i'm gonna probably do a color match that the next thing on the list is i want to paint the truck it's gotten a little rough because i've had this truck since like 2010 so and that stuff's going to be going soon i really want to get an 05 to 07 frame for one of these trucks and do the whole frame so that way i can you know you know, you know clean it get a you know powder coat the frame or paint it or something i figure i'll just get it powder coated we'll get it blasted and powder coated run the new act run the new axles front and rear because these have got over i believe these axles have probably got 260,000 miles probably i know it's time for i know it's about time for brakes and i've replaced the ball joints once but i want to go ahead and just do the new axle all together get that i believe it get that better ride quality and and uh the bigger brakes and uh and it just look cool <laughs> it'll just to me it'll be cool i know it won't be the be cool to people that have these 05 to 07 trucks but that was one of the first things i did back when i got it was i did did the front end put the, did the update updated front end But yeah, I put, oh yeah, I didn't sell that. I did put the new style bumper on it too when I did the tailgate. I painted a new bumper and tailgate for it. It's got all the, well, I originally had the recon tail lights, but they blew out. And then I went online and found these, which when I put them side by side with the recon, these didn't come from recon, but they literally have the same part numbers and everything on them. But these didn't come from recon. These were, so I forget, I want to say they were more, maybe more remote or something. I don't remember, but I know it had the same damn, the same part numbers and these were not recon and they were half the price of them damn recons or I think they were even less. Um, that light up there is the recon. Um, yeah. Still running the original back glass the one of these i ain't put the new one in i've debated on if i wanted to do the front end swap on it but i kind of like i'm kind of liking ever the more i do the more i drive it the more i just want to i think i want to just leave the front end on it this truck i know it's not you that unique but it does get a lot of attention a lot of attention when i go to the local car meets and stuff and car shows and stuff around here and whatnot uh this i don't see myself getting a new truck anyway anytime soon because this truck here I, I mean it's like it's my favorite I, I don't know i'm weird about getting rid of my stuff but this this truck it tows great like it does great now especially with this alice and the compounds oh man this thing is a, like it pulls like a freight train i mean it's I don't know. It's awesome. <laughs> Them compounds made a difference and that transmission made a difference. Cause I'm running, I built the transmission myself during all the COVID crap. Everything was, I was having problems finding people to do stuff and whatever. So I just built it myself, put it in the truck. I bought one of the Gar go, was it Garen or, or something? Go Garen or go, I don't know. Uh, go going or gear i can forget what how to pronounce it but i bought one of their convertibles convert con, converters for it with a triple disc whatever and i mean that alone uh you know it works good with this uh cummins in here but yeah if you got any 